Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you some new journals that I made at the end of last year and they're available in my shop. They're mushroom themed and come in this cute hessian mushroom bag and I've included prints of my art on the front so they both have a different artwork on the front. Um, in this one you can see it's a girl on mushrooms stargazing and she's got autumn leaves, leaves flowing through her hair. I've included a nice spine and some oh, blurry beads. There's a strawberry and mushrooms and other beads to match the, cl the colours. I'm sorry about the blur every now and then. And I've included a whole bunch of fabric tabs just to add texture. And I added um, some gold touches on the cover so it's quite subtle and a bit harder to see in camera but there are more gold touches for the cover. And here's the next one. I'll just, I guess I'll just show you the covers of them and then I will go through them each but they're pre pretty similar on the inside so there's a girl looking up into a mushroom home I guess on my shop I've called it a mushroom mushy home or something but it could be anything I don't really decide what I'm drawing Some different beads. I added some orange ones here to match the orange flowers in the picture. And similarly some trims and fabric fabric gum. Taps. <laughs> That's the word. Five minutes later. Yeah, it's like a bit creased here and there, but I kind of like how it looks. These journals took me a really long time to finish. And I worked on them for like a month. But even longer if you count the, how I worked on the um, pictures for, which I didn't procreate with um, the use of like gouache and watercolour brushes, I think. So here we have the inside and I've lined them both with the same paper on the inside. I got these amazing picture books, like old picture books, like boxes of them on Facebook <laughs> earlier this year and it was just like striking gold, it was amazing. So there's lots of those picture book pages in here. There's another one there. They're really old and beautiful. And I've included lots of cute pages and pockets. So that's a pocket there. And a lot of the pages are vintage and recycled and some are digital paper and um, really nice quality scrapbook paper. I love the colours in the old picture books. And I've tried to add fabric tabs that really complement each page. I 
every now and then that's just a little bit of fabric just for detail and like to have the texture that's a flip up page I don't think they both have that it's just that that page was particularly relevant on one side and on the other um, and I collect things from everywhere so that page there is an old geography book from France and there's a oh, what's it called oh it's too late now a tuck spot basically um, that's supposed to be another tuck spot I don't know if things would stay because it's kind of loose but it's um, a nice detail anyway You could put photos or pictures and writing in those little frames there. Put a bit of old music paper. And I've just um, paper clipped some of these in each book. And added tuck spots like this one. And there's a top loading pocket. I like to add like plain music paper because I think the lines could be good to write on sideways. And yeah, I just added some papers, paper clipped in here and there. Here's another pocket. And some punchings there. mushroom pages and like the fox pages and stuff were from craft consortiums over the hedge pa um, pa papers and I love them. I love craft consortium actually. They always um, do really good quality paper pads that are really pretty. Digital papers I've included are from Victoria Designs on Etsy. I find she does really good papers and there are often good sales that I just go for. And they're really fun to add into the books. And so there's the end of the book. Yay. And there's lots of room for it to have more space in, I think. It's really well sized. I think it's probably just a bit bigger than A5, but I don't know. So yeah, that's the same in the inside. And there we have a pocket there and some really cool children's paper from my bunch of children's books. I love those definition, the dictionary one, and I love that page too. I try to make them pretty similar but they end up being really different and I like that about my books is that they're all unique. And there's another one of those tuck spots. And there's a top loading pocket. And another tuck spot. Yeah, and I, I think I'd actually struggle a bit to make things quite similar. So, 
yeah but they but following the same theme it actually helps and there are just so many different pages and all pages are pretty much one of a kind from what I have with the vintage pages I mean so yeah oh my god that's a page from Naughty I remember watching that show as a kid I love that paper too see that's not in the other book <laughs> But it's good to have variety and, and different choices too. And there's another tuck spot. Oh, I really, really want an embossing machine. I got that from like a freebie with another Etsy purchase and I just loved it. Well, I can think of so many things to do with an embossing machine and a die cut machine. Um, so that's the other side of Noddy. And there I've just put a little bit of that fabric. I really, I really like that fabric. It's from Liberty London Designs. <laughs> I forget all my words when I'm doing these videos. Such a cute little bear children's book there. And the good thing about the little pages is that they don't really have to be covered if you don't want to, because they're so small. There's another pocket. I like to mm, find good middle pages. Oh, and there's another pocket um, in the middle of each signature to make it easier to. Mm, Make a good spread. I have so many of these children books pages. And, and those mushroom, that's a tax spot. <laughs> those mushroom. That mushroom page before was from Johanna Clo Clo, and that's not just tuck spot. That I mean, pocket, pocket, another pocket. Um, who's a big inspiration to me and probably many other um, junk journal makers. There's another pocket there. Oh, that's such a cute page. Oh, I love that page. See, that's the that's the Johanna's. Um, And yes, that's the end of that book. So please, uh, if you're interested, um, I'll li link my Etsy shop below. And yes, <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a lovely day and week and month. Goodbye.